Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the April Hella Handmaids Creations. If you don't know what Hella Handmaid Creations is, every month a bunch of different indie makers get together and they contribute one product to go on the Hella Handmaid Creations site and they are available the 14th to the 21st of that month. So these go on sale today. In the description box below, I will link the Hella Handmaid Creations site, their Instagram page, and my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. Now I don't have everything from the month of April to share with you, um, but I do have a good portion of them. These polishes will only be available on the Hella Handmade Creation site. They won't be available individually on the makers sites. So I have 24 of this month's offerings to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first from Bluebird Lacquer, we have Donna Telling Me What To Do. This is inspired by the Met Gala and it's described as a mega hollow with a rainbow of pastel flakies and an indigo to pink sparkle. This will retail for $11.50 and there is no cap. Formula on this is very smooth. Like the description said, it is very holographic. It is competing with the shimmer and the flakies and I had no issues picking out one element over another. Um, so there's a, a lot going on in this polish and it all works together really, really well. I did two coats and I was happy with the opacity. If you're super duper picky, you might have to go in for a third, but I do think this one looked good on just two. This is gonna dry decently glossy all on its own and nothing's gonna dry super textured, so if you have to skip a top coat, you could. I would recommend it though for longevity purposes. But in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Donna telling me what to do and a glossy top coat. Up next from Blush Lacquers, we have Spring Fling Queen. This is inspired by Mean Girls Spring Fling Dance and Damien and Janice's purple matching suits. It's described as a purple multichrome with shifts of blue, violet, and red and holographic micro flakes. This will retail for $11.75 and there is no cap. So while I am not prone to wearing purple polishes, this fits the theme so well. She has done so good with this Mean Girls theme and this one is so thinking outside the box and I think it's really, really beautiful. Formula is very good again. Blush has those rounded brushes that makes it really easy to get up into your cuticle and make a nice round cuticle line. So this is a super easy polish to apply. It took me two coats to build up to opacity. You will want top coat because it does dry dull, but nothing is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Spring Fling Queen and a glossy top coat. Up next from Chirality, we have The Attendant. This is inspired by the Tarantino effect and it's described as a sapphire blue jelly filled with red sparkles, rose to gold color shifting micro flakies, and red to gold ultra chrome chameleon flakies. This will retail for $12 and there is no cap. The flakes that are in here actually stand out really well in this. I kind of thought they'd get lost because the base is so dark. Um, but it's not super pigmented, so those do stand out really, really nicely. The shimmer that's in here also stands out really well. This does have a good formula. I didn't have any running, pulling, or staining. It does take three coats to build up to opacity. It's going to dry dull and slightly textured, so you will want top coat for those reasons. In my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of the Attendant and a glossy top coat. Up next from DRK Nails, we have The End Is Not The End. This is inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia and it's the last in this theme series. It's described as a tinted purple base mixed with ultra chrome chameleon red to gold to green flakies, iridescent orange to gold to green flakies, dark gray hollow glitter, and a lime green galaxy glitter. This will retail for $11.50 and there's a cap of 100 bottles available. So this has another good formula, smooth and easy to apply, no running, pulling, or staining. I did three coats and got pretty much opacity. Um, you could sponge this on if you want it fully opaque, but it could also double as a topper polish, and I think it would probably be really beautiful layered over a deep, plummy purple or like a black. This is going to dry with some pretty intense texture, so you will want one to two coats of a glossy top coat to finish this off, and removal is going to be pretty difficult. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of The End Is Not The End and a glossy top coat. So next up from the Don Diva, we have Papa Ligba. This is inspired by American Horror Story, and it's described as a mysterious color which looks smoky and devious, yet still classy and elegant at the same time. The generous glows of gold to green unicorn pea add a fire throughout, which you cannot deny. 
This will retail for $17 and there is no cap. I love Don Diva's Unicorn Pea Polishes. They're sheer, but they're buildable, but they're shifty and they're gorgeous. This did take me three coats and I got pretty much full opacity. You could make out your nail line if you were really looking for it, um, but it got pretty much fully opaque. The base color of this is, it says like a smoky gray and yes it is, but it's also like tinted bluey green and it's just really beautiful and really original. This is going to dry pretty dull, so you will want top coat for that reason, but nothing is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. And something tells me you could double this as a topper, though I didn't try that. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Papa Legba and a glossy top coat. Next up from Esmaltas to Kelly, we have The Clown. This is inspired by the movie Joker, and it is the last in this series. It's described as a red jelly with glitter galaxy, blue, gold, red, and iridescent flakies. This will retail for $12.50, and there's a cap of 100 bottles available. This has an incredibly good formula. It took two coats to build up to opacity, but I wasn't missing anything that I would want from a jelly. I still got to see all the flakes. I got to see all the glitters. Everything stood out really, really nicely. That being said, this is really opaque. I didn't have any staining personally, um, but I would make sure to wear a good base coat with this one um, just to avoid any kind of staining. You will want top coat to smooth everything out here, maybe two coats of a top coat, depending on if you're using a thicker glitter eating glossy top coat or not, um, because it is gonna dry with some pretty serious texture and it will be extremely difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of the clown and a glossy top coat. Up next from Enchanted Polish, we have Imagine. This is inspired by the Beatles and it's the last in their series. It's described as a light gray base with color shifting pigment, tiny micro holographic glitter, and a scattered holographic pigment. This will retail for $16 and there is no cap. Formula on this is very smooth and easy to work with. I did two coats for opacity. I could see somebody needing three. The shimmer that's in here stands out really, really nicely on the nails and it's not competing so much with the holographic in here because the hollow is much more subtle. That being said, it does say this is a glitter. Um, I didn't have any kind of texture or difficulty removing this one. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Imagine and a glossy top coat. Up next from Heather's Hughes, we have, and I never got caught neither. This is inspired by The Office and it's described as a violet jelly filled with a mix of metallic and hollow glitters and blues and purples. This will retail for $12.50 and there is no cap. Formula is very smooth, very opaque on this one. I did two coats to build up to opacity, and again, I could still see through to each layer where you're building up the glitter and the added elements in here, but it's not getting hid by the base color, so I do really, really like that. This is gonna dry dull and textured, so you will want top coat to finish this off, and it is gonna take some serious elbow grease to remove. But in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of, and I never got caught neither, and a glossy top coat. So up next from Kathleen and Company, we have Sea Anemone. This is inspired by Nature, and it's described as a beautiful bright pink polish with an aurora shimmer and a dusting of hollow micro flakes. This will retail for $12.50, and there's a cap of 125 bottles available. This has a good formula. I didn't have any kind of running, pooling, or staining with this one. The shifty shimmer that's in here stands out really, really nicely. It did take three coats to build up to opacity. Um, that's pretty typical with these shifty shimmers. The less opaque your base is, the more that shifty shimmer is gonna stand out. This is gonna dry on the dull side, so you will want top coat for that reason, but nothing is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see three coats of Sea Anemone and a glossy top coat. Up next from Lily Pad Lacquer, we have Sam Sheepdog. This is inspired by the Looney Tunes, and it's described as a creamy pastel scattered hollow base with red sheen. This will retail for $14, and there is no cap. So this did take me three coats to become completely opaque. I don't see pastel hollows too, too often, so this is a kind of original in my collection. If I looked really hard, I'm sure I could find something similar, but this one does stand out as a one-of-a-kind in my collection. This is gonna dry dull and slightly textured, so you will want top coat to smooth this out, but I didn't have any kind of difficulty removing it. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see three coats of Sam Sheepdog and a glossy top coat. Up 
Up next from Lollipop Posse Lacquer, we have Paths Outside This Garden. This is inspired by Delirium of Neil Gaiman's Endless, and it's described as a grape crelly base filled with copper to gold to green shifting aurora shimmer, red to orange to gold to green shifting iridescent flakes, and holographic micro flakes. This will retail for $13, and there is no cap. I did two coats to build this one to opacity. Depending on your application, you might have to go in for three. The flakes that are in here stand out really nice. The base that's in here isn't too pigmented, but it's not too sheer at the same time. The shifty shimmer is really beautiful. Lollipop kind of has this formula down, and I really, really appreciate it. This is going to dry with some texture, so you will want top coat to smooth that out, but nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of paths outside this garden and a glossy top coat. Up next from Limby Designs, we have It's Moo. This is inspired by Friends as their new theme, and it's described as a teal to white thermal base with purple to blue to red shifting flakies and aurora shimmer that shifts from violet to blue. This will retail for $12, and there's a cap of 90 bottles available. So the formula on this one is a little bit on the thicker side. It's not super difficult to work with, but you do want to kind of try to work in thinner coats to make sure each coat gets a chance to dry. Otherwise, you will have dragging and pulling between coats. And the thermal effect on this um, will make it dry a little bit slower as well. This is absolutely loaded with these flakes. They spread out evenly and easily across the nail if you do work in those thinner coats. I did three coats on this and I got mostly opacity. I could make out my nail line if I was looking for it, but I don't think most people would just be able to see that. You will want top coat to smooth this out and to bring some shine back to it, but nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of It's Moo and a glossy top coat. So up next from Music City Beauty, we have At This Moment. This is inspired by One Hit Wonders, and it's described as a berry pink base with scattered hollow and green to gold shifty shimmer. This will retail for $12, and there's a cap of 100 bottles available. This does have a good, smooth, easy to work with formula. I didn't have any kind of running, pulling, or staining with this one either. I did have some brush strokes through this while it was wet. Most of those did go away as it dried. A couple of them did hang out, so I would just make sure to work in as straight of strokes as possible to make them as unnoticeable as possible. This does dry decently glossy all on its own. I would recommend a top coat just for longevity purposes, but nothing is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of At This Moment and a glossy top coat. Up next from Nail Hoot, we have You Have No Power Over Me. This is inspired by Labyrinth, and it's described as the dreamiest pink in the kingdom with a gold shimmer and a scattered hollow sparkle running throughout. This will retail for $10.99, and there is no cap. Formula on this is good. I didn't have running, pulling, or staining. It is going to dry with some texture, so you will want top coat for that reason. Removal is going to be a little bit difficult because the hollow bits that are in here are glitter. The shifty shimmer that's in here does stand out really, really nicely as well. I did two coats to build this one up to opacity. Depending on your application, you might have to go in for three. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of You Have No Power Over Me and a glossy top coat. So up next from Night Owl Lacquer, we have The Person I Love Most Is Me. This is inspired by That 70s Show, and it's described as a neon pink crelly with gold to green, aqua to green, and purple to blue crystal flakes. This will retail for $12, and there is no cap. I love it when Night Owl Lacquer has these formulas. They're Crelly formulas with the flakes. They are so beautiful, such good, easy-to-work-with formulas. If you're looking for flaky polishes that are beginner-friendly, these are it. So this took me two coats to build up to opacity. I had zero issues with application, any kind of running, pulling, or staining. This is going to dry with the slightest bit of texture because these flakes are a little bit larger, so you will want top coat to smooth that out, but just one coat of a normal glossy top coat. You don't need something thicker or glitter eating for this and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of the person I love most is me and a glossy top coat. So up next from Necessary Evil we have You Will Become Like Us. This is inspired by Doctor Who and it's described as a blue metallic silver with a little bit of hollow. This will retail for $11.50 and there's a cap of 105 bottles available. 
So I'm not the biggest fan of metallic polishes, but I really like how this one looks. It's kind of somewhere in between a steel gray and like a midnight blue, and it's gorgeous. I don't get any of the hollow out of this, um, but I haven't brought it out in the sunlight to see that. Um, but what really stands out is this like metallic flare that this has. I did three coats to build this one up to opacity. If you're not super picky, you might be able to get away with two thicker coats, but I do recommend just working those three thin coats and getting this nice, gorgeous, deep, bluish gray manicure it's so it's one of those like you have to see it in person kind of polishes to describe it this is going to dry dull so you will want top coat for that reason but nothing is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove so in my swatch photo you're going to see three coats of you will become like us in a glossy top coat up next from my brand pampered polishes we have drink me this is inspired by Alice in Wonderland and it's described as a cool toned dusty dark gray with a holographic glitter and cool toned ultra chrome chameleon flakies. This will retail for $12.50 and there is no cap. So all of my swatchers got my old style bottles. All of my orders will come in the new large round bottles with the flat brushes. Formula I think is good, smooth, easy to work with. I didn't have any running, pooling, or staining. The hollow that's in here is really beautiful. The flakes that are in here stand out really nicely. I don't like to do it on my polishes, so I will just say I did two coats to build this one up to opacity. It is going to dry with some texture, so you will want top coat for that reason, but nothing's going to be super difficult to remove. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Drink Me and a glossy top coat. So up next from Penelope Luz, we have, it says on the website it's called Evanescence, but my bottle says Nightwish. We're going to go with Evanescence. <laughs> this is inspired by Symphonic Metal and it's described as a navy blue with holographic pigment, flakies, and golden holographic glitter. This will retail for $12 and there's a cap of 200 bottles available. This is a super rich pigmented base. I did two coats to build this up to opacity. You can still make out all the glitters and everything that are in here easily. I would recommend wearing a base coat for this. I didn't personally have any staining, but I didn't wear it super long either. But with these super pigmented blue bases, I would definitely recommend being on the safe side and going in with base coat. So like I said, I did two coats for opacity. This is going to dry with some intense texture. You will want one to two coats of a glossy top coat, depending on how thick your top coat is, to smooth everything out in this, and removal is going to be very difficult. So my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of, we went with Evanescence, and a glossy top coat. Up next from Pop Polish, we have Princess Leia. This is inspired by Heroines and it's described as a white base with random cuts of silver and holographic flakes. This will retail for $14.50 and there is no cap. So this does have a good formula. I did three coats of it and I wasn't able to reach full opacity. You could probably sponge this on to get better opacity than I did. I will do anything in my power to avoid sponging polish on if I have to, so I didn't want to go ahead and do that. This could possibly also double as a topper. This is going to dry with some texture, so you will want top coat for that reason, and it is going to take some scrubbing to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Princess Leia and a glossy top coat. So up next from Schlie Polish, we have Fallen Your Skex. This is inspired by the Dark Crystal, and it's described as an iridescent flaky and glitter in a clear base. This will retail for $14, and there's a cap of 60 bottles available. I like to try to build these polishes up on their own, just to kind of get that naked manicure look, um, but I can see the mixing ball through this pretty well, even being like all the way on the other side of the bottle, so I didn't think that'd be any kind of benefit, so I did just layer this one coat over black. It did spread out nice and evenly. I didn't have issues covering up my entire base color. There's a ton of glitter in here. They spread out easily and evenly. The Shifty Shimmer that's in here stood out really nicely over the black base. This is gonna dry super textured, so you will want top coat over this. This does not substitute a top coat, and removal is gonna be a little bit more on the difficult side. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see one coat of Fallen Your Skex and a glossy top coat over black. So next from Turtle Tootsies, we have Just Give Me a Reason. This is inspired by pink and it's described as a dark purple hollow polish loaded with multicolored chameleon flakies. This will retail for $12 and there's a cap of 75 bottles available. 
So formula on this is good. I didn't have any running, pulling, or staining. This is take three coats to build up to opacity. I didn't have any kind of issues making out the holographic or the flakes that are in here. This is going to dry dull and textured, so you will want top coat for that reason, and removal is going to take a little bit of scrubbing. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Just Give Me a Reason and a Glossy Top Coat. Up next, we have one of my favorite parts of every month, the Under a Hulu Moon Wax Melt, and this month we have Pivot. So this is inspired by the TV show Friends, and it says on here, sawing a couch in half will definitely get it up the stairs if pivoting doesn't work, but it won't be as satisfying the lovely redolence of a plate of passion fruit and guava served up with a nice Shiraz wafting through the air while lounging on your new sofa. This will retail for $4.50 and there is no cap. I have used four of my six cubes. I was burning this in my kitchen area, I think, it just leaves a nice kind of sweet fruity aroma and I think that was really appropriate for burning in the kitchen. I did want to save a couple squares until I had my video done otherwise I would have thrown the container away and forgotten all about it. I really really like the scent of this. Um, in general I really like under a hula moon wax melt. They throw nice, they last nice, they smell nice so I really like getting them every single month and uh, this one's no exception. So up next from Vanessa Molina, we have Fantasy or Reality. This is inspired by Fawn's Labyrinth and it's the last in this series. It's described as a dual chrome pigment, holographic pigment, holographic flakes, and ultra chrome chameleon flakes. This will retail for $12.50 and there are 100 bottles available. I really like these kind of polishes. Um, it's got the shifty shimmer, it's got the hollow, it's got the flakes, but it doesn't have too much of one element where it's overpowering the rest of the polish. So I do appreciate that. This does take three coats to build up to opacity. Any more pigmented with a black base and you would lose everything in there. So those three coats do build up nicely and they do leave a nice layered manicure. This is going to dry dull and textured so you will want top coat for those reasons and removal is going to take a little bit of scrubbing but it's not as bad as a glitter. So in my swatch photo you're going to see three coats of fantasy or reality and a glossy top coat. And lastly for today we have Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb from Wildflower Lacquer. This is inspired by Selena Quint Quint Quintanilla. I'll leave it on the screen, and it's described as a gold hollow flaky filled polish packed with hollow flakes, red to green crystal chameleon flakes, and subtle red to gold shimmer. This will retail for $13, and there's a cap of 200 bottles available. I love this polish. This is a standout this month for me. It's super holographic. It's super flaky filled. It's super shifty. The shimmer in here, the flakes that are in here, the hollow in here, everything's moving around depending on what angle you look at it from and I really really like polishes like this. Formula was good. I did two coats on this and I was happy depending on how picky you are. You might want to go in for three. This is going to dry dull and textured so you will want top coat for those reasons and removal is going to be a little bit difficult. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb and a glossy top coat. And guys, that is it. My camera light is blinking at me. It's about to die. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the selections that I had this month. What was your favorite? What do you plan on picking this month up from Hell Handmade Creations? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time.